guys, happy Thursday. It's Connor here, welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. All right, so last week I began refilming some of my candle educational videos. So um, I refilmed my Candle Croc 101 and I also refilmed my Candle Lamp 101. And now I'm going to be doing that third and final video, which is going to be of my Candle Hurricane 101. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about candle hurricanes. We're going to talk about why would you need a hurricane? What is the purpose of them? Um, we're going to talk about where you can find candle hurricanes, um, some general information and frequently asked questions on hurricanes. Uh, we're just basically going to get all into hurricanes. Um, I do use hurricanes throughout my home fragrance ritual or routine. I use them every week. Um, you guys see me refer to them in my my weekly wax chat and in candle reviews in all of my home fragrance videos so um i do this video and um i always have it linked in my description box so that when you guys do ask questions about hurricanes you can come and refer to this video and it has all of the information that you need um, with a lot of details in the description box as well so that is why I filmed this video. So um, I am redoing this video. I do have the original one up and I'm still gonna keep it up, honestly. Um, I filmed that video last year um, when I was more like in my beginning phase of YouTube. And so I feel like not only have I, you know, learned some like communication skills here on YouTube, on YouTube more, but I've also um, just like used the hurricanes more. So I feel like I have different feedback on them now. So um, yeah, I'm redoing the video i'll probably redo this video every few years um just to you know keep it um uh, like current and new but um anyways let me know down below in the comments do you guys use hurricanes for your home fragrance i would love to know what your thoughts on them um again check out that description box it's gonna have a lot of good links and details and additional information that you can find down there so um yeah let's get right into it so um I do have a couple of hurricanes. I have um, the two hurricanes that I have sitting right here. First up is this one right here. This is my first ever hurricane. Um, and when this one went on sale, it's from Belk. Um, when it went on sale for, I think it was 60% off. Um, I think I got it for like $20. Um, I bought like five of them. I had broken one of them, which is why I bought five because I really um, thought for that price point, it's a really good deal. So I stocked up because um, I think that this is a really great hurricane. Um, it has been discontinued. I don't think it's available right now. Um, I will leave a link. I think it's still up on the website. It's just sold out. Um, but if you check that frequently, you can definitely um, try and see if it comes back in stock. I feel like it's kind of come in and out of stock over the past year. So I'll link this one down below. Um, but this one fits um, my widest candle perfectly, which is a Hallmarks candle. Um, I'll actually go ahead and show you. Here is a Goose Creek candle that I've been burning. Um, this is the Kind of Cozy. And um, this fits it perfectly. You obviously put the glass over the candle. I love this hurricane so much. Um, I really like this wooden base that comes with it. I actually get a lot of questions about this wooden base. Um, I use it in my candle review sometimes and I have people ask me where I got it from. Honestly, it came with the hurricane. I have like five of these now because they all came with the hurricane. I agree, this is really pretty. I love to use this in my home decor. Um, you can definitely find pieces like this though that aren't necessarily a hurricane. I would recommend going to places like Home Goods or um, TJ Maxx even. I think they sell like hurricane type, type stuff there, but I know specifically Home Goods does. Um, also, you can check out like craft stores like. Um, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby even. Check those types of stores and you can definitely find bases like this. And you can actually find a lot of good hurricanes there as well. Um, specifically at Home Goods, I've seen a lot of really good affordable um, hurricanes. So uh, you can definitely find them there. I know that there are also a lot of different options online, but if you're looking for an affordable option where you can run up the street and go get one, then definitely check out your local home goods. They have a lot of good options there. Um, so yeah, this is my first one. Like I said, it's not available, so um, I'll link it still, but you can just keep your eye on that website to see if it does come back in stock. 
but I have four of those. Yeah, because I broke one. Um, things happen. I actually broke a candle this morning too. I broke a Goose Creek candle, um, which really sucked, but I had already reviewed it, so it was okay. But anyways, um, this is the other hurricane that I have. It is from QVC, actually. This is a Hallmarks hurricane. Hallmarks does make hurricanes. They sell them. I think they only sell them on QVC, but you may be able to find them on the uh, hallmarks.shop or slackkinandco.com website. Um, but they do have some uh, pedestals and hurricanes over on QVC. This one was actually originally, um, it was gold, but it was more of like a shinier gold and it didn't really fit my home decor vibe. So um, I actually painted this one more of like a uh, bronzy um, gold type of color and I really, really love this. Um, one of the best things I've ever done, honestly. I'm like really proud of myself for doing this. I think it looks amazing. I mean, it's not like the neatest, but it just looks so beautiful in my opinion. And it just gives it much more of like a traditional look, I guess. And it really just fits more into my home decor style. Um, it was really pretty with like the shiny, but it just wasn't for me. So um, be creative, paint stuff you know, DIY things, redo things if you don't like them. I think you can have fun with a lot of these types of things. So, you know, go for it. And, um, you know, I haven't had any issues with this chipping or anything so far. If it does, then obviously I could redo it. I think I just did two coats of like acrylic paint acrylic paint and um yeah it's fine so i really like this um like i said this is from harry slatkin hallmarks um and this is a really nice hurricane the one thing i do have to say i wish that this was a little bit taller um obviously hallmarks is gonna make hurricanes for their candles which makes sense so this obviously fits a uh a hallmarks candle um it's actually really wide it fits um yeah, it definitely fits a homework candle with some room to the side as well. When you're purchasing a hurricane, you really want to make sure that you do, um, you know, have some area on the sides. It's kind of what's going to help to get that uh, fragrance to pump out. But my one thing for this one is I really can only uh, use it with um, Bath and Body Works candles, homework candles, Goose Creek candles would work, but um, my taller candles like Kringles and Yankee candles. Those don't do as well because they actually go over the uh, glass. So they're like, you know, ending right here. So there's really no point, but I do think that this is really pretty and it's really good for a lot of good Hallmarks candles. So those are the two hurricanes that I have. But like I said, you can find hurricanes at a lot of different places. I will leave some really good options down below in the description. Um, I will also just leave some different websites and stuff that you can check out. Uh, but like I said, check out your home goods, your home sense, those types of stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, craft stores. Um, I would maybe even say Home Depot. I don't really, I've never, I mean, I've been there, but I don't shop there. So um, I'm not quite sure if they have them, but you could check that store out too. Um, but yeah, that is the um, hurricanes that I have. And those are where you can find hurricanes. Okay, what is the actual purpose of a hurricane? So the purpose of a hurricane, um, there's a few different purposes to them. The first one, which I think is kind of like the main purpose that a lot of people use hurricanes for, is that the hurricane um, helps to increase performance wise, strength and throw wise. Um, so when you light up your candle and you put it in the hurricane, what happens is the glass really does kind of pump the fragrance out and it definitely increases it. Um, is it going to be a ton of strength and throw increase? No, it's not. But um, you guys know how I do my rating scale for strength and throw from like a 1 to a 10. I do feel like the hurricane does kind of help to increase it like a point up. So if a candle um, may be um, a 5 on strength and throw, if I put it in the hurricane, it might go up to like a 6. Um, it really does depend on the candle, the scent, the company. There's a lot of things that go into it. But I do think that the hurricane overall does really help to increase strength and throw. Um, I think that there are specific candles that really um, get help and are needed to have a hurricane. Obviously, you shouldn't have to burn your candles with the hurricane to get good performance. 
um, and you don't have to, but I do find with a lot of different candles that they do really well in hurricanes. Um, for example, is the tall Kringle large two-way candles. Those normally average for me about a six, seven for strength and throw out of the hurricane, but I do find that they increase with strength and throw when I use a hurricane. So um, that's like a great example of why I would use a hurricane. But I find really all across the board with all the candle companies that I shop with, hurricanes definitely help to increase some strength and throw. Um, Kringle, Yankee, Bath and Body Works, Goose Creek, Homework, all of the companies, I really do find that they really do improve as strength and throw when they're in the hurricane. So that's kind of like the main number one reason that some people use them. Um, another reason that hurricanes are really nice is that they do help if your candle is struggling a little bit, specifically pulling out. So what happens is obviously when you put the candle in there and you have the glass over the candle, it's trapping the heat. So you're going to get more heat in the candle, which is definitely going to help to pull the candle out faster. Now you have to be careful with these because I do find specifically with like three wick candles. So Bath and Body Works candles or Goose Creek candles, I find that they do, um, they do pull out very quickly in the hurricane compared to when they're not in the hurricane. Um, and I do find the deeper the pool you have, the more issues you can start to have. So you're gonna have to limit your burn time. Whenever I put a Bath and Body Works candle in the hurricane, it's normally like blow it out after two hours where when I'm not burning in the hurricane, I can normally do three, sometimes four. Um, but you do have to be careful that you're not um, you know, leaving it in the hurricane for too long because it can definitely trap heat. Especially this one here, you can see that it obviously curves in, so it's really trapping that heat. Not as much the um, Homeworks one because it's just straight up, but um, yeah, you have to be careful about that. But it does help if your candle is struggling, um, if you need it to pull out faster. Hurricanes are really great for that. I know I use them sometimes for like my Yankee Candle original jars. Similar to like a Yankee topper, this is obviously trapping that heat. It's giving you an even clean burn. Um, it's also great for if you have to leave soon and you want the candle to pull out quickly, that can definitely help. Um, if you have puny wicks, it can definitely help to speed up the process of pulling out. So that is another great uh, way to use the candle hurricanes. And then the third reason, honestly, I think that they're really pretty. I think that they are really nice for burning candles. I think it kind of gives like an elegance um they are really pretty in home decor like i said i use these for home decor um i think even if you're not burning candles in them they are just really pretty to have that you could put different things in them um and i think that they're just really pretty to look at so those are um you know the purposes of a candle hurricane why it may be helpful to you um i think if you're using home fragrance and burning candles um frequently on a weekly basis then i do think having a hurricane would definitely help out with uh some problem candles or if you just want to increase the strength and throw a little bit. Um, I know with Homeworks candles, we've obviously seen a decline in strength and throw. And um, with a lot of people, they use hurricanes to bring back some of that strength and throw. So there are a lot of different uh, reasons you may want to use a hurricane. So um, yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you use a hurricane. What is the primary reason that you do? I think for me, it's mostly the strength and throw thing, but also I just love being able to look at the hurricane. I think candles burning in the glass, it's really pretty and it just kind of adds an elegance to burning a candle. So that is uh, the purpose of a hurricane. And then um, I was trying to think of some frequently asked questions that I might get with a um, hurricane and I really couldn't think of too many. I feel like Hurricanes are pretty straightforward. They've been used for years for decor. They've been used with, um, you know, taper candles and other types of candles. So I feel like they're pretty straightforward. One question I could think of that I did want to address is does the hurricane need to be cleaned? And the answer is yes. I do think that the hurricane needs to be cleaned. Um, not like every week, but I would say every couple of months. It really depends on how much soot you're getting, honestly, but I have noticed a little bit of black buildup on my hurricane sometimes. Um, this one obviously looks pretty clean. It's 
you can see a little dirtiness right there but um sometimes they will get a little bit darker and so what i do um i just spray windex and i wipe them down um i do that every few months usually just to keep them clean and clear looking you can also throw them in the dishwasher um that's pretty easy to do or you can hand wash them with like soap put it in your sink you could um you know rinse it but I honestly find the quickest and easiest way to clean them is just with Windex and a paper towel and it works perfect perfectly for me every time but to answer that question yes you do um obviously with candles soot is produced it doesn't matter um if the candle you know if you can see the soot or if you can't every candle produces some amount of soot obviously you can contain it but when you're burning something it's still gonna happen um, the candles that I burn don't have like a real sooting issue, like Kringle candles rarely soot on me. Um, Homeworks candles don't really have a sooting problem. Bath and Body Works does at times, but, um, you know, I use, I utilize my Crocs, my lamps when that gets pretty bad. So I would just say be careful about it. But if you are wanting to keep your candle hurricanes looking clean, then yes, you are going to have to clean them. And um, like I said, I think that's really the only question that I feel like I've really gotten about them. Um, and then obviously, like, what is the purpose? But um, yeah, please let me know down below in the comments if you have any other additional questions. I would love to answer them. Um, check out that description box for a lot of good links and information, places you can find hurricanes, more details. Um, and I'll also link down below the Candle Croc and the Candle Lamp 101 if you wanted to go back and watch those. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Let me know in the comments if you utilize hurricanes. I would love to know if you do. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.